all of the homework is due Friday. Okay. Um, I opened this up. I thought maybe we could do something up here for a warm up. I don't know. What should we do? Um, even add zeros, even, even or add for this function or neither. It looks odd, yes, symmetry with the origin. Okay. Um, even add neither. Everybody okay with this being neither? Be because it's slid over, right? It, this could be even if it wasn't slid to the right of the origin. Even add neither. Yeah, it actually does look like neither just because like here it's at negative two above eight and over here it's definitely not. Okay, I'm just reminding you that you need to be able to do these from the graph, not just from the equation. All right. Yeah, I think we had enough warm up today. What do you think? Okay, piecewise. There's a lot of stuff you got to be able to do with piecewise. Um, this is worksheet 8A, yes. If I can get my tablet to work. Usual fun. All right, so we're supposed to be able to evaluate it a given. Just plug a number in. Um, accurately graph a piecewise. Know when to use open and solid. Write an equation for a given piecewise. That's what that worksheet you got today is about. And determine if it's continuous at a given value. I don't know why that's such a struggle, but it is. Okay. So this is just evaluating review. How do you find x equals negative 1? Which rule does it go into? Is it less than 2 or greater than 2? Less than two, so I put the negative one in here and get anybody. Uh, negative two plus one is negative one. Yes. Okay. Four. Okay. Uh, it's above two, so I put it in here. Four squared is sixteen minus four is twelve, so four. Came out of 12. The issue with continuous, it, the, this is a line and this is a parabola, which are both continuous functions. The question is, do these match up so that there's no jump in the graph? So if I put a 2 into this one, even this would be a solid circle, yes? Okay. Do you remember the solid circle business because it's or equal to 2? So if you put a 2 in, what would you get out of this function? Okay. Then this function has an open circle at 2, but it still has, it starts there, it's just open. What happens if I put a 2 in here? So is there a jump in the graph? Yes. Okay, so this is not continuous. I don't know why that's such a struggle, but we're going to keep going. Um, f of 0? Anybody? Okay, f of 2, which one does 2 go into? The bottom one, so 2, 5, 4. Okay, this was a pretty easy one. How do we tell if it's continuous again? We go a 2 in here would have an open circle at 4. Putting a 2 in here would have a solid circle at what? So do those overlap? In, no, right? If it was continuous, these would start and stop at the same point. Let me give you a quick. If it was a graph and this was part of the graph, and the next part of the graph started at the same place, then it would be continuous. Does that make sense? 
So if these shared a spot, then it would be continuous. So, oh, lots of fun going on here. Negative 10. Picture number line, 0, 6, negative 6, negative 10 is down here somewhere, yes? So we put a negative 10 in here. Negative 10, now does that, well, we actually put it in for the X. I don't know why I wrote it there, but does it, um, so my question is, does it become positive 10? No, we add it to this and get negative 8, and then it becomes 8. And then I multiply by negative 3, which is, and it's okay to have a negative because of this multiply here. Okay. Hmm. What is this business? Yeah, it's supposed to be the round down function. Okay. So if I put a 0 in, it goes into this one, yes? 0 minus 10 is negative 10. Does that round down? It's already an integer. It stays negative 10, yes? Okay. Um, 2. Negative 8. Okay, let's practice something that's not an integer already, though. How about um, negative 2.5? Goes in this rule, yes? You subtract 10, and it's negative 12.5. Round down, but round down means round to the left. It would be negative 13. Everybody okay? Because down on a negative is even more negative, right? Okay. What about positive uh, 4.9? 4.9 minus 10? Negative 5.1, yes. So it would go down to negative 6 all the way down to. Because if you're graphing negative 5.1, guys, here's negative 5. It's here, right? It's past, so it's got to go all the way down to negative 6. All right, let's try 11.7. Um, 11.7 <laughs> minus 10 would be 1.7, which would round down to 1. Okay, how do we decide if this is continuous? Well, the only place would be here. Is it jumping at 6 or not? If I put a negative 6 in the top one, what do I get out, guys? Negative 4 makes it 4 times as negative 12. Okay. That would have an open circle because it didn't have an or equal to. This one, if I put in a negative 6, negative 16, and that would keep it negative 16. So this is not continuous. All right. Before we even graph this, can we talk about whether it's continuous? The places it could be jumping are negative 1 or 4. Do you see that? Okay. So at negative 1, with this rule, if I put a negative 1 in, I square it, I multiply by 3, what do I get out? Positive 3, everybody all right? What happens here? If I put in a negative 1, I get out a negative 1. So it's discontinuous there at negative 1. If I put in a 4, I get out a negative 1 on that rule. But down here, the 4, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. Cubed is still negative 1, right? Plus 2 is 1. So it is also discontinuous at 4. <clears throat> the reason I'm practicing this, there's a question on the quiz, and it's something like this. It's got three parts or so, and it says, and it turns out that it's discontinuous at only one of the places that you try, and the other one is, says, where is it discontinuous, okay? You could graph it for fun and figure out where it jumps, okay? But you can also just test the points like we have been. All right, back to what this is going to do. I would suggest you have pencil today. Do we have pencil? I, I would suggest you not do this in pen. Okay. What shape is this? 
3x squared is a parabola. If we were to try a few values, it says x is less than negative 1. It's going to have an open circle, though, when you put in a negative 1. What are some numbers less than negative 1? Negative 2, negative 3. Will those fit on our graph if we put them in? Negative 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12. Already going off the graph, right? So we have negative 1, positive 3. What goes there again? An open circle. Why? It didn't say including negative 1. And then it goes up to negative 2, 12. It's like a piece of a very narrow parabola. If we kept going this way, it would just go through the origin, right? All right. I'm going to switch colors just for fun. This is the one everybody loves because this is what? Or is a straight line. My favorite answer ever. They're all straight. Okay. It's a horizontal line down at negative 1 that has what? At negative 1, negative 1, it has the or equal to, so it is solid dot. Everybody good? Staying down at negative 1 over to where? 4 and at 4, open circle. All right. Now, this is the kind of junk you didn't do in honors. Algebra 2, or even regular Algebra 2, or particularly regular Algebra 2, because it's a mess, right? It's a cubic. Now, we could sketch over here a graph of what this looks like. A cubic does this. This one has been shifted how? Why this in the transformation yeah. section, guys? 5 to the right and up 2. So at 5, 2, it's doing this. Okay. We want values beyond 4. You could put some things in your table, but could we just do a couple by hand? 4, 5, 6. I'm not sure they're going to fit on the graph paper. If I put in a 4, what happens? 4 minus 5 is negative 1 to the third is negative 1 plus 2 is put in a 5. That's 0, so I get out 2. Well, that's fitting so far. What if I put in a 6? 6 minus 5 is 1. Q plus 2 is 3. But I don't think it's going to keep going. That sounds like it's linear right there, but it's not. Put in a 7. 7 minus 5 is 2. Cubed is 8. Plus 2 is 10. All right, so if you plot those points... And this 4 does get a solid dot. 4, 1. 5, 2. 6, 3. And 7, 10. That looks like a mess. You have to know something about the fact that it's a cubic, right? What is it supposed to be doing at 5, 2? That little loop de loop thing, right? So it's kind of an inflection point idea here. It should be looking like that. Pretend I hit the dot. All right. Everybody good? Do you not have this one? Or, okay. Oh, I'm like, no one's doing anything. You're all just staring at me. Okay. Let's try this one. Okay, before we start, what is the first one going to be? It, it's going to be a line that's doing this, yes? What is the second one? So it's this shape. And the third one? It generally would be one of these guys. Remember this? Okay, from the parent function sheet. So we're, it, it's only beyond two, but we'll see what happens. Okay. With that in mind, I'm going to use the use my pencil and erase method because I think that's better than plotting points for most of you. If I were to graph this line, I would go down here to negative 5, 
and go up one and over one, yes? Or down one and back one. Okay. What part of that line do I want to keep? Less than or equal to zero to the left of the y-axis, yes? Am I going to put a solid dot or an open dot at zero, negative five? Good job. So zero, negative five, go in this way. Now, if I'd wanted to use a table, guys, I could have said, well, it's zero and less, so I could put in zero, negative one, negative two to get three nice dots and plot them and make sure I understand that it's aligned so it's going on. All right, this is a cubic. Generally, this cubic would be here. When I cube one, I get one. I cube two, I get eight, yes? Cube negative one, I get negative one. Cube negative two, I get negative eight. Which part of that cubic shape do I want to keep, though? Between zero and positive two. So I'm going to erase this dot and this dot. And this one actually has two endpoints. So I could easily just put in zero, one, and two, because it only says it goes from zero to two. Cube this, cube this, cube this. There's my three dots that I already did. Are they both solid? This one at zero, zero should have been open, right? All right, and then it's just doing this till it gets to here. It looks like a parabola, just a little steeper than a parabola. Mine has a funky curve in it, but that's okay. All right, beyond two, I'm supposed to do this. Well, can you just try some points? Beyond, here, let me do a different color, but beyond two. So starting at two, it has an open circle at what? I'm doing two over X, so that would be one. Two, one is an open circle. It says going to the right, so I put in a three or a four. What's two over three? Two thirds. What's four over two over four? One half. Two over five, two over six. Is it ever going to get zero though? No. These are ridiculous. Because you can't even tell what they're doing. I don't want to grade this, so this question won't be this hard on the quiz. All right. This one might be a little bit better. What shapes do we have going on? I think it helps us to think about that ahead of time. This is a parabola. This is a horizontal line, and this is a V of some kind. Yes. Um, might be negative, but we'll see what happens when we get there. All right. Um, what are we doing? No, it's not going to be negative. I don't, I, okay. I'll just sound dumb on the video. It's all good. Um, this parabola has shifted where? Left six. And then it would go up one and over two and up four, if you remember my little cheat. Are we keeping all that? No, we're only going to keep the part from negative 5 to the left. So if you wanted ordered pairs, you could go negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8 to get a few. This would be 1. This would be 0. This would be 1. This would be 9. Not 9. Oh, 4. Yes? 4? If you put a nine in, then you'd have out nine. Okay. So I started, and some of these I get to keep. I have to put an open circle where? Negative five what? Negative five one. All right. And then it goes down to six and swings back up. And out here, it's already at nine. All right, well, at least it kind of looks like a parabola this time. 
The next is your favorite part. Yes. A straight, otherwise known as straight horizontal line up at seven that has what on the ends? Solids out at negative five, seven. And solid dot at two, seven. And if you get that one wrong, you're in trouble, right? Yeah. All right. This piece, I'm thinking I need to put some numbers in because I know it's a, some kind of a V shape, but it's confusing me that it's reversed in here. If I start at two, what's four minus two? Two. Put in a three, four minus three is one. Put in a four, four minus four is, but if I put in a five, I'm back at one because of the absolute value. Six would be, okay. So now we should maybe be able to plot those. What do I do at two, two though? Okay, two, two, open circle. Three, one, four, zero. Five one six two. Is that enough that we can draw the rest of it? It should have an arrow on it, right? Because it didn't end at two. Which I forgot to put arrows on the creating worksheet, so we'll when we get there talk about that. Is anybody just totally not getting this? Okay. Anybody want to come up and try to do this one? Do you know these shapes? Horizontal, what's this one? Cubic and square root. Does anybody got this? Someone else can come up and do it on the board. Anybody want to tell me how to do it? At what? Negative five, four? Am I doing the wrong one? Okay. What? At negative five, I go up to four and put an open circle. Are we good? Okay. I was just so confused. I'm like, what? I have the wrong problem? What's wrong? Okay, and then I keep going which way? Yes. Oh, this is a weird one because it's not even close to continuous, right? Because there's a gap all the way till negative two to two. All right, you know what? I like doing it this way. Negative two to two. I'm supposed to draw a cubic. What would those points be? Negative eight, negative one, zero, one, and eight. And those are both solid on both ends, yes? Negative two, negative eight, negative one, negative one, zero, zero, one, one, two, eight. I have extra erasers. Need an eraser? Okay. All right. Now it jumps at three. We're using this rule. So I know what shape it's going to be, but where does it start? So if I put in a three, what do I get? Square root of six. That's lovely. Two point, did you type it? Okay, it's around 2.5, okay. And then at four, we're still in gross, disgusting land, right? Square root of seven. Let's see where we finally hit a nice one. Five, six, is six the first one that's gonna be nice? Six is three, okay. So there's some kind of crazy open circle at three, 2.5-ish. Well, that wasn't a good circle. And then the first night, that's not two. 
Oh, it's supposed to be three. Okay. Six, three is the first one. That's a nice dot. I don't think we hit any more nice dots. Do we? Where is it at 10? Just to humor me to 3.6. Try to make it look like it curves a little bit so we know it's not a line, but. All right. Very important. Before you leave today, grab a piece of graph paper or two or three out of the green bin in the back under the TV, okay? Because when you do these, there's only four of them assigned, I think, but you need to be using graph paper and doing them nice and accurate. Does that make sense? So do them nice and big, full size on your graph paper, okay? um oh this is an old one we, we could do that at the end of class for fun so these are the four that are assigned and use graph paper okay 7b it says but honestly 7b is getting ready for the quiz so we can talk about 7b tomorrow i was going to do it as a warm-up but i couldn't find this slide all right let's look at this worksheet um this is for you to finish as homework so what do you want to pick Oh, I want to pick this one. Is this number two? Yeah. Okay. I want to pick number two. Guess what? You have to find equations of a line. Do you remember how we started the year? No. <laughs> Finding equations of a line, yes? Okay. All right, let's, I like to do the easy part first. I don't know about you. What X values is this little piece of line defined for? Um, negative four to negative one. Negative four is less than X is less than negative one. Do I need or equal twos? No, because they're open on both ends. Everybody's good? Always use less than to make a sandwich sentence? Okay. <laughs> no, we're not even close. But what's the other piece over here? This one is defined from where to where? 3x and 6. And this time? It's or equal to, yes, because they're solid. Okay. That's the easy part. Now you have to write the equation for each. Okay, I would like us to do this algebraically. So can you pick points that are here? Well, there we can use the endpoints, it doesn't matter. Negative four, negative seven, is that an endpoint? And negative one, positive two? Okay, so can we do it algebraically? How do you write equation of a line through those points? <laughs> Slope is y minus y over x minus x. Negative 9. I can, I'm good until I have to add and subtract. I get 3. Does it, could you have counted and figured out it was going up 3 and over 1? Yes? Okay, so the slope seems right. Then what did we do? This is such good review. Use this. I would use point slope. So y minus what? This is an x. This is a y. y minus 2 is the one I circled. Equals 3 times x minus negative 1 or plus 1. y minus 2 equals 3x plus 3. Add the 2 over there and we get what? 3x plus 5. Could you have gone up 3 more and over 1 and figured out what the intercept was going to be? Yes. And it doesn't say y equals because this is that part of that, right? Remember how it looked? Yeah, the h of x out there. See, this is how it normally looks. You just have the rule, f of x, and then the rule. Okay. Um, one more. 
for fun. This one has ordered pairs where? Three, four, and six, three. Okay, slope. Four minus three over three minus six. I have one over negative three. Is that what it did? Went down one and over three? So you could have counted that if you wanted. So y minus, if I use 6, 3 maybe, negative 1 third x minus 6, y equals negative 1 third x, what's 1 third times, neg negative 1 third times negative 6 would be positive 2, and then I need to add the 3 over to this side as well, right? So negative one third x plus five. Does it seem right if we had gone over one and back three, would it have hit at five? Yeah. Okay. You're welcome to estimate from the graph, but I'm just not sure that you're always going to be able to estimate from the graph. I'll tell you this. The one on the quiz has one line you have to find the equation of, and it has one constant piece. Gift. Okay. So it would be like this. This could be a quiz question. Think you could do that one? Okay. Um, why don't you pick one more for me to do with you, maybe, or not? You, you want to practice the other three on your own? They're okay? Okay. We good? Do you want to start this one? Where does it change? I don't know what number this is. Okay. What's happening over here? It's doing something. So what do we write? Less than negative five. Everybody okay? To the left of negative five, it's doing one thing. Then it's doing one thing here. What are we going to write there? X is between... Negative 5 and positive, is it 2? Okay, we get less than, either one need an or equal to? Yes, the negative 5 gets an or equal to. And x is greater than 2, am I done? Greater than or equal to, yes? All right, this one's easy. Actually, I don't think we need to do any algebra. What is it staying at to the left of negative 5? Um, negative 4. What is it staying at to the right of 2? 6. And can we figure out this equation pretty easily? It's going up 1 and over 1, and it crosses the y-intercept is th negative 3. So we write... Positive 1 is the slope x minus 3, so just x minus 3 would be fine. That one wasn't too bad. All right. Um, let's talk about number 20. What does this want us to do to this graph? Can you tell me in words? Here first, what does it do first? Okay, so move all the points to the right too, lightly. And then what happens to all of them? Okay, reflect over x. So now what? This one that's up here at negative 2, 3 is now going to be at negative 2, negative 3. Why does that not look to scale at all? Oh no. Okay, this one that was at 0, negative 1 will be at. 0, 1. 
this one that I had shifted over to 3, negative 1 will be at 3, 1. And this one that's up at 6, 2 will now be at 6, negative 2. All right. I didn't put one of these on the quiz, but this would be a great second time we assess this kind of question. Yes, 19 is easier. Yep, you're just going to move everything down two points. And yes, this one just kind of goes off the graph. But... All right, I want to talk about this one. This is a worksheet 7A. You don't have to go back and do it if you don't want to. Just help me. What happens? I think one on your homework might have a piece that step. Negative one to the left of negative three, right? Here's negative three, and it's at just a line at negative one from negative three going to the left and it would be a solid dot so I, like i said before I like cut, that's gonna be a constant line this is going to be a line this is going to be a steppy thing right we think ahead okay where's this one x plus one would be a line that went here and it's going up by one but what piece do i want to keep Negative 2 and positive 2. If you wanted to know where the endpoints were, you put it in. Negative 2 would give us negative 1. Positive 2 would give us 3. So at negative 2, negative 1, what kind of an endpoint? Open circle because of this. Then it's going up 1 and over 1 until it gets to 2, 3. Two, three, and then it's a solid circle. Erase the rest of this. Okay, what is this business? Yes, it's this business. It's over circle, over circle, okay? Starting with four. So at four, what's the greatest integer rounded down from four? Four. One, two, three, four. So four, four. Then it goes over, and just before five, it does what? Jumps up to five and over to six. And it would actually jump up to six. That's really weird. You would have a dot at six because it says to include six, and it is six, but you can't go past six. Yeah, I won't put that on a quiz. There might be a greatest integer step one on your homework. I don't remember, but I didn't put one on the quiz. Any questions about all this fun? Any questions from homework? Any of the homework? 